Hello Aries, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 1st of May until the 7th of May 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the 9 of cups. You are feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the four of wands. What you want most right now is to get together with your family and friends and to celebrate all the wonderful times that you have had together. Often, this card reflects the holiday period where you get together with the extended family and join in a celebration. Alternatively, it may be as simple as inviting your closest friends over for an intimate dinner and a few glasses of nice wine. The Four of Wands often points to a marriage, engagement, birth of a child, a birthday, graduation or other type of celebration that marks a special milestone. If you have been working on a project, you will reach an important milestone and will have cause to celebrate. You have completed a significant phase of the project and can feel very proud of what you have accomplished so far. This card augurs a time of joy and satisfaction in life and represents the personal gratification of a job well done, a goal attained, and a vision beginning to be realized. Given the Four of Wands is closely associated with the home environment, you may be working on improving or renovating your home. You may have recently purchased a new home or are very close to finding a new home and getting ready to settle down in your new environment. The Four of Wands indicates peace and harmony. You may find a refuge from the turmoils of life, perhaps by meeting someone new in a romantic setting, or by finding a new place to live that is away from it all. 
If you have been experiencing any disagreements with others, now will be the time to make a peace offering and instead focus on creating harmony in the relationship. The Four of Wands provides encouragement when things seem too daunting. The card serves as a reminder that most things in life do not come easily, and so when you do accomplish a major milestone, you should be proud of everything that you have achieved. The Four of Wands is also representative of move from one stage to another, and moving past mistakes and challenges to a place of peace, acceptance and happiness. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Six of Pentacles. You are afraid of lending money to someone around you. Be very careful about who you lend your money to, especially if you yourself are in financial trouble. While a generous spirit is a wonderful quality, you need to ensure that you are able to support yourself whilst helping others. You may have a tendency to spend or give away more than you can afford to. Be careful with the amount of debt that you get into. It is possible with the Six of Pentacles that you are getting in over your head and it will soon come back to bite you in excessive interest rates or personal threats if you are unable to pay it back in time. Be wary, too, of get-rich-quick schemes that are more likely to leave you with a hole in your pocket than a pile of cash. The Six of Pentacles sometimes reflects the selfish side of charity. In some cases, people give to others not for the benefit of the other but for the benefit of themselves. Be careful that you are not trying to prove to others that you are generous because you can give to the poor or the needy. Aim to give selflessly rather than selfishly. In a relationship reading, the Six of Pentacles suggests that one partner is doing a lot of the taking but not a lot of the giving, thus creating an inequality in the relationship. You need to be careful that your generous spirit is not being taken advantage of and that you are not always the one making compromises for your partner's benefit. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the page of cups. You may hear about the birth of a child, an engagement or marriage, a wonderful ideal plan, pregnancy, a new relationship travel plans, etc. This positive message is unexpected but welcomed, and you are likely to respond to the news or message in an emotional manner. The Page of Cups suggests that you are more likely to show or express your emotions now. You may be more emotional or moved by simple things. Do not be afraid to let your feelings show and to wear your heart on your sleeve. It is okay to be sentimental and romantic. Let your heart lead the way. The Page of Cups is like your inner child youthful, free, creative, intuitive and inspired. This page has never been taught to suppress his innate emotional and intuitive power, and therefore he is a kindred spirit whose imagination is totally free free to dream wonderful dreams and to create his life exactly as he chooses. In this way, the Page of Cups represents renewal of your emotional and creative self to allow that sense of freedom to reappear in your life. This card encourages you to take a fresh perspective on a difficult issue and to approach that situation with benefit of the doubt, love and compassion. The Page of Cups appearance tells you to never stop listening to your intuition and believing in your dreams. If you cease to dream, then your dreams shall never come true because they do not exist anymore. In your darkest moments, dreams can often provide a ray of hope through with the page of cups can manifest. Dare to dream and all things become possible. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Queen of Swords. You are afraid and very emotionally involved in a particular situation or issue but this may be distorting your perception of the situation at hand. You need to use your head a little bit more to understand what is happening and read the signals more accurately. 
Look at your situation objectively and think with your head and not your heart as this may give you a better picture of the situation and help you evaluate what you need to do next. Similarly, the Queen of Swords suggests that relationships are clouding your usually clear vision. You need to refocus your goals or direction, yet you are hesitating due to a desire not to disturb the positive balance and harmony of your relationships with others. At the end of the day, you need to be more hard-edged, confident and assertive in order to be successful. Clear sight and analysis, objective weighing of options and ideas for the future, and even carefully considering but not necessarily choosing, the alternatives are essential right now. On the other hand, the Queen of Swords can come across as cold-hearted, bitter, resentful and bitchy, particularly if she is completely devoid of any emotion or compassion for others. In her quest to get to the bottom of an issue, she puts a lot of other people offside and loses her support base. She isolates herself from others and is seen as narrow-minded, intolerant, and mean. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Seven of Pentacles. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. If you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months, and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. You might have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concern that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. Be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. This card follows the Six of Pentacles which indicated the ending of a difficult period of financial or material difficulty. In the Seven of Pentacles, you are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. It is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The Seven of Pentacles may therefore represent fear of failure, delays and frustration. However, the positive side to it is that you are more likely to be learning from these setbacks and evaluating how you can better invest your time to create the most value. In order to avoid feelings of frustration, ensure that you review your progress to date at regular intervals, particularly when engaged in long-term or enduring work, so that you can review what is working well and what is not and where you can make adjustments. Make sure that you are on course and that you are on track to achieve your goals. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the leaving. This card confirms what you already know, it's time to leave a toxic situation. You've done your best to heal the conditions, but sometimes the circumstances become intolerable and the healthiest choice is to move on. This naturally brings up feelings of confusion and insecurity. However, rest assured that whenever you're on the right path, which you are, everything works out for the best. Your departure doesn't need to be sudden or drastic. Like a butterfly building a cocoon, you can plan and prepare for this transition right now. You can even make your exit gradual, so that you feel comfortable and secure during this healthy change. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just 
please click subscribe and you will get the uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.